Hey there guys, welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Let's see if I still got it after that horrible, horrible showing last time. Going up against this guy. He leads with an Alakazam. Okay, I can... Uh, I wonder if it's going to be his Mega, but I don't really see... Alakazam doesn't really make a good lead, I believe. Anyway, lead out with Gobalion. Common sight these days. Set up Stealth Rocks, he goes for a Psychic. Now, it's probably a lead because... Magic Guard can't get the Focus Sash broken by anything. But the Psychic, I take it surprisingly well. And I Volt Switch out of there. Also kind of surprised that I outspeed him, because I'm pretty sure the base speed of Alakazam is higher than the base speed of Cobalion. But whatever, bring in Dusk Noir. Yes, Dusk Noir, not Dusk Clops. Dusk Noir still has its uses, even though Eviolite Dusk Clops is a much better wall. Take that Psychic surprisingly well. A little bit of health back with the leftovers. And go for the Shadow Sneak. That is probably going to kill him off because Alakazam is not bulky in the slightest. And it does indeed go down. So, boom. One down. Five to go. Keep it rocking, Dusk Noir. Got a little bit of health back. As he brings out a Lucario. I figured I can take an attack from that thing. Oh crap, it's a Mega Lucario. Well, I'm getting a little iffy here. This might be a bit of a problem. Except he goes for a nasty plot. Oh no. Plus two Mega Lucario, how am I going to deal with that? I know, a substitute. Yes, you don't see that move on Dusk Noir too often. Got a little bit of health back. Got to keep the substitutes coming. And you know what that is. Focus Punch. Yes, I've made a sub-punching Dusk Noir. And let me tell you, this guy did not see it coming in the slightest. Substitute takes the Dark Pulse, and here comes the punch. Out of there. Take your Mega Lucario and shove it where the sun don't shine. Ah, Dusk Noir. Gotta love this set. Sometimes it's the unexpected stuff that helps you win matches. Brings out a Braviary, which is named Poke Gal for some reason. Goes for a Brave Bird. And I wonder if it's going to do much, because Dusk Noir is naturally bulky, and it does do quite a lot. Possibly Banded or whatever. Luckily, I kind of saw that coming. Pain Splits. Get a bit of health back and pretty much take away most of his. So it's a shame Shadow Sneak doesn't affect Braviary, because I think it would have been able to pick it off but right now otherwise. So he switches it out, wisely, brings in a Vaporeon, and let's just say... Oh, I thought I was going to paint split here. Whatever. I kind of did not see the switch to Vaporeon coming, so I switched into Avalog, hoping to tank another Brave Bird with ease. But, uh, yeah, the, those double switches, sometimes they catch you off guard. So Avalog gets out of there, bring Dusk Noir in again because why the hell not? He goes for Acid Armor. Okay, so that's not really going to help Dusk Noir out in the long run. Luckily though, Vaporeon has a shit ton of HP. I think it has like base 130 HP, and most Vaporeons have a lot of HP investment, and Dusk Noir does not have a lot of HP. He goes for Scald. I'm probably going to take this. Yeah, pretty well. The burn is unfortunate, but Pain Split. Check this out. Zoom all, nearly all the way up to full, and his take away, take away about a third. So Dusk Noir is ready to come in and tank hits another day. The burn is most unfortunate though. Kinda makes him useless now. Well, I guess I can always bring him in on like a, something that tries to toxic me or sleep powder me or whatever. So bring Dusk Noir out, bring in Guard of War. Because Guard of War has Trace. And that Vaporeon most likely had Water Absorb. And so if he's going to go for Sculpt now, I'm just going to get healed instead. But that's not going to happen. He goes for Wish. Probably going to heal up himself or one of his other Pokemon. Potentially Braviary. So, just pop the Mega Stone. Why not? Mega Guard of War. Ta-da! And he's probably going to go for Protect. Yeah, Wish Protect. That old combo. Mostly seen on all the Eevee evolutions because they have all have such shitty move pools that they 
can easily spare two move slots on both Wish and Protect. Anyway, go for Thunderbolt now, let's see how well he's going to take that. Surprisingly well. I thought Vaporeon wasn't really all that specially bulky. So, this might be a problem. If he keeps wishing and protecting, I'm not going to break through this stuff. Not with Mega Gardevoir, at least. And then he switches out the Vaporeon for some reason. Brings in the Braviary. Not exactly sure what he was expecting here. I know he wanted to heal it up, but come on. You really didn't think Gardevoir was going to attack and absolutely destroy that thing? Seems like he's grossly underestimating Mega Gardevoir. Anyway, it brings in Toxicroak. Now, Sucker Punch is a thing. And Mega Gardevoir, I don't think its defense is that good, so get it out of there, bring in Avalog, because Avalog laughs at absolutely everything that's physical. And he switches Toxicroak back out immediately. Into whatever this is... Tyrantrum. Uh, well, that's perhaps a slightly bigger problem for Avalog than Toxic Rogue is, but still not that big a deal. As he goes for a Rock Slide. Yeah, if that's the best he, he's got, then I'm pretty much good here. Go for an Earthquake. Easy 2 hit KO. While he's lucky to get a 4 hit KO on me. However, he can still flinch me to death, so that might be what he's going for. And he gets a little bit more damage on me, but I don't get the flinch. Poor Tyrantrum, as I pretty much make the dinosaurs extinct again. Though I don't think they died, they all died of earthquakes. Should have wiped them out with Draco Meteor. Don't think I have anyone on my team that knows Draco Meteor though. Brings out Vaporeon again. Yeah, Avalug doesn't really want to stay in here. Especially because I might need him later. He still has that Toxic Rogue that I need to look out for. Bring in Ambipom, who is shiny and pink. Pink is manly. Goes for Scald. Ambipom takes that surprisingly well for a Pokemon with virtually no defensive presence. And he goes for the Protect. Obviously saw the fake out coming, but come on, can you blame me for trying? It's not like I can I get to use Fake Out any other time, so I'm pretty much have to use it right now, even if he is gonna protect or not. Anyway, go for the double hit. And it is going to knock him out. That's what you get for not setting up acid armor. So good job, Ambipom. Get a little bit of life orb recoil. And out comes the Toxic Croak again. Kinda predicting a sucker punch here. Because what Toxic Rogue does not carry Sucker Punch, honestly. It's a pretty decent move on a Pokemon with such an obvious weakness to Psychic. But nope, he goes for Fake Out instead. So okay, he's probably got Fake Out and Sucker Punch then. But Avalog absolutely laughs at any attempt to flinch him. Gets probably more health back than the Fake Out dealt in damage anyway, and then he goes for Drain Punch. And that actually does decent amount of damage to Avalog. Kind of surprised by that. But whatever, Toxic Rogue still has no bulk whatsoever, and I can easily just set up a recover here. There we go, good to go basically. Even more health back with the leftovers. He's definitely fighting a losing battle here. If you if your last Pokemon is a physical attacker and you're facing my Avalog, you might as well just throw in the towel because you're not gonna get past that thing. He tries to poison it with Poison Jab, but it's not gonna help. Earthquake easily takes him out. Good battle. Thanks for watching. Have a lug here once and again. Awesome. Bye-bye.